Setting start, do, or end dates on discussion topics, drop boxes, and quizzes can be a bit tricky because the behavior of these dates works differently within each tool. Plus, setting up dates for discussion topics can be real confusing. Please carefully read the information below in terms of reading this best practice guide, and you may want to watch the video tutorials uh, also, which give you a visual in terms of how this works to best understand how to set up dates for discussions, drop boxes, and quizzes. This particular tutorial will is going to focus on quizzes and setting up dates on quizzes. There are basically two scenarios when you're setting up dates on quizzes. First one, you do not want to restrict, this, restrict when students can take the quiz. It's always available. Bottom line on that is don't put any dates, either within the course content area or within the submission review area. So it's, this is where it says it's always available. So the students, it's always open. The second scenario is you want to restrict when students can take the quiz to a range of dates. In that particular case, you set up uh, the start and end date only via the course content area or the submission review tab. If I do it in the course content area, it will affect what goes on in the course in the submission review tab. So I'm going to set up a start date here and set up an end date. And of course, I can change the times there too. And I go and update that. That now restricts the students to take that. This setting allows the students to still view their submissions after the, cl the quiz closes. doesn't restrict them from that. If I go into the submission review area, you'll notice that it set up the dates there. And if I go to edit the quiz here and go to the restrictions tab, I can change the dates here and it will affect what goes on in the course content area. So you'll see it'll change the dates there because the, the tools are linked. So when it comes to quizzes, basically two scenarios. You want to leave the quiz open always, then simply um, do not put any dates on. You want to restrict when the students can take it to a range of dates. Use the start and end date.